Hello, today we are going to talk about what happens when the bag of waters breaks. Um, the baby, your baby, has been cushioned inside with this bag of waters um, inside your womb for the last nine months. Uh, the, the bag of waters has provided not only a cushioning, but it has also provided space for the baby to move and grow. Um, towards the end of pregnancy um, and at the beginning of labor, um, at some point the bag of waters does break. Uh, for some women that might be the middle of labor, for others it might mean during pushing, for some others it might mean the baby may even be born with the bag of waters intact. Um, what we do know is that 82% of women start labor with the labor contractions, the pains, the labor pains, and at some point during their labor the bag breaks. For another 18% of women worldwide, the bag breaking initials this, or signals the start of labor. Uh, what many of our mothers uh, who come to us for the Lamas classes or even for consultations, they want to know, is it an emergency Is if the bag breaks before the labor contractions start or even during labor and what should they be doing? So this is what we are going to be talking about today. Um, in most cases, when the bag of water breaks, it is not an emergency. Um, if it does break before your labor contractions start, then um, there are a few things that you can do. You should uh, note the color of the fluid. It should be uh, translucent, almost colorless and pale and uh, may have a bits of uh, white tissue in, uh, floating inside it. That's all good and normal. That's what covers the fatty tissue that covers the baby inside and that's kind of floating around in the fluid. Um, it's usually odorless and um, typically what we would ask moms to do is to kind of keep an eye on the color of the fluid and wear something that, might, that you know, kind of uh, wear a sanitary pad or something which can kind of protect them from getting wet and, um, and also uh, usually we would ask them to monitor the baby's movements. As long as the baby is moving well, the, it usually indicates a good and healthy baby, an active baby is always a healthy baby and uh, for, for some of you it might take a few uh, minutes uh, to, for, to feel the baby movement, especially after a big break of bag of waters because um, the pressure inside gets kind of released, the baby drops down in more into the pelvis and it might take a few minutes before you notice movements. Uh, but once you do that, then uh, usually it means the baby is active and healthy and well. Um, so I want to show you a very simple visual demonstration of what might happen and what you can expect when the uh, bag of waters breaks. So here, this is a very simplistic demonstration, um, but think of this as the bag and the baby is floating around in it and um, at some point if the bag breaks, um, it might happen that the bag might break in just one space and you might have a little bit of this kind of a trickle and then it kind of stops when the baby moves into a different position or if the mom moves or if she's sleeping there might be you know uh, not too much of a gush and then if she walks around and moves around then there might be some more of a trickle that happens and as the baby comes down and kind of gets um, fit into the cervix that leak might actually stop it might stop for some time, but again, as, the, as there is more movement and as the baby moves further or as the labor progresses, there might be some more trickles that might be happening along with, along with the, um, in, uh, when the bag breaks. So on and off, you might notice the breaks, or it might completely seal off and not be there at all. Another possibility is the bag breaking high. So this might be something like this, might be a high leak, where once, where in, when, once the bag, when the baby, moves in a certain position that leak might happen and later on it might seal itself completely. Most, more common is the lower leak that happens and kind of goes on and trickles for a bit, baby moves, trickles again and comes off and this trickling you will find and see till the baby is born you will try to see, keep seeing this trickle in bits and pieces. The more dramatic way that the bag breaks is like that. And you cannot really miss that. It breaks and you know there is a big gush of fluids that has happened and you have you know that there is definitely a leak of bag of, bag of waters. Even in that case, um, you might have one or two gushes and then it might stop for some time. As you change positions, it might leak again. And again, like before, it, might, um, it will continue to happen until the baby is born. 
it would be a good idea for you to discuss with your care providers what the what um, will happen what if your back breaks and the contractions have not started or your labor has not started um, it is also a good idea to discuss what happens if the back breaks uh, as the labor progresses and how long they will wait for um, you know your baby to be born after the bag of waters has broken uh, the, typically it would it's a, it, it should be discussed as a part of your work plan with your care providers uh, many hospitals and doctors have uh, protocols and plans that they stick to uh, some will uh, have a few hours that they will wait before after the bag breaks before um, you know uh, if the contractions are not started they might want to um, induce you with medicines to um, you know get the baby out um, some care providers might wait 12 or 24 hours before um, you know progressing with any kind of induction um, so you, it's good for you to know what the practices are um, there is a small concern about infections and um, and that's really what drives the practices in most hospitals what we do know and what uh, what we practice in our in our uh, birthing center um, is once the back breaks and if there are no contractions like we said before we ask those questions of the mother and ask her to monitor the color of the fluid baby movements and so on and so forth and usually we will call the mom in at some point in after 12 to between 12 and 24 hours and uh, we'll check the baby make sure that the baby is well run a non-stress test um, also um, check if the mom is well if she's not running a temperature, monitor maternal parameters um, and usually we will send them home if there are no contractions. Um, the reason for that is fairly simple. At your home, you're dealing, you and your baby are dealing with only your home germs, whereas at the hospital or a birthing center, however clean it might be, you're dealing with those hospital germs as well. So um, as long as the mother and father are informed very well about the, uh, you know, the, the kind of pros and cons of waiting and as long as they are aware of what it is that they are to, that, they, that is expected um, usually we feel we, feel, we find that parents are fairly confident uh, by going home and monitoring both the baby's movements and their temperature and usually we will call them in every day um, until the baby is born and uh, usually there is no issues with that as well so um, as a recap it's good to know that uh, sometime during labor either before as an onset of labor or during labor where your bag might break. It is usually not an emergency. It is good for you to know uh, and monitor certain things like the color of fluid and baby's movements. And it is also good to have a, have a good talk with your care provider beforehand as to what uh, should be expected once your bag breaks and what, are the plan, what is the plan of care that will, you will be following once the bag is broken. It's also good for you to know that as long as there are measures being taken to minimize risk of infections, and as long as you and your baby are being monitored carefully and through the through the process, it is okay to wait um, even many hours, even days um, before the baby is born. Um, as long as the mother and baby are well, we have waited several days before the uh, baby has been born, as much as up to four days after the bag of waters has broken, and um, and. Like I said before, it is about monitoring that infection risk, keeping the infection risk low and monitoring the mother and baby and usually things turn out well.